Juan sent me their Inspiroy H950P. See? Comes with battery free pen tablet. Hold on a minute, I'm going to get a pair of scissors to open the box. The camera's falling out of focus. Okay, I had to open the box off camera. Um, let's see what's in here. All right. So you got your. Well, it's been a while since I did this, so I'm gonna practice with this camera. <laughs> there we go. Um, so you got your tablet, software, thank you for choosing Huon. Our goal is for you to be 100% happy with your new Huon product. If you need assistance, please don't hesitate to contact us and we shall be glad to help you in any in every way possible. Mm, this camera keeps going on. Oh, I see what I'm doing. My fault. I keep hitting the focus thing. I have to edit that out. Let's make sure you can see it again. <laughs> this is interesting. Instead of a CD, they give you the driver download address, which is a good thing because usually when these boxes are put on a shelf and then opened later on the device driver is pretty much obsolete by that point and here's the tablet and here is for for uh, you can see my is that a 23 22 inch monitor for size reference Better yet, let me get a ruler. So, see the ties with the tablet? The back. We go out. It's tough doing this with one hand. We'll get a better camera one day. Can't see the good on the black. The keys. 
I imagine this area is the drawing space from probably here to there. So you got about 10 inches of drawing space. <laughs> oh, see there, the little dots right there. It's about nine. Nine ish. Or eight and a half, or a little over eight and a half. Yeah, right at eight and a half. A little over eight and a half. A little over five. The dots right there. Dots right there. It's about five and a half. Five and a half by what is that? Eight and three quarters. So this is the tablet, graphics tablet. We have the pen, stylus pen. Monitor connector. Pin holder. On the end of the pen, a way to take out the, the nibs from what it look, looks like that. I can't untwist this with one hand to see if there's anything in it. But there's little designs in the back. See? User manual. Yeah, see, I was right. Well, it was in, uh, I think that's Japanese, but yeah, you take the pins off at the top, at the end, and you twist it open, and there's pin nibs in. <laughs> Here it is in English. Let's see if there's anything under this. I doubt it, but let's take a look. Nope, it's empty. So this is what you get with it. Tablet, connector, stylus pen, pen holder with some nibs inside. the tablet. I thought you had to look at it white for a minute, but here are the pin nips. I twisted it off. So it comes with extra pin nips. Alright. Next video, next part you'll see is me trying to install this tablet.
Okay. difficult it may be to install the Inspiron, Inspiron, or Inspiroy, I'm probably pronouncing that way wrong, um, H950P. And I have my fan on, so you're probably going to hear that in the background. Um, you know, I get hot real quick, and I'm sorry about that. So that might be why you hear a little hum also from my computer as well. Yeah, Inspiroy or Inspiroy H950P. And I'm going to Huon and download the device driver. You can also get the manual from there. Uh, let me make sure I'm recording. Yep. And as you can see, they got all of their drivers up here for all of their, their tablets. I have a lot of people um, stop on my channel and, and complain about the, the disk drive not working. Working, you can always go to the manufacturer's website and see if they have drivers, updated drivers to download. And here we are, we have the H950P, and they have all of their recent drivers. And this is the most recent one August 24th today. Interesting. Can download this. Save. And the best practice is to install the driver before you hook up the device. So we're going to zip this, unzip this. And sometimes that all doesn't always work out. Sometimes it takes a little troubleshooting, trying to figure things out before you can get these tablets or any device for that matter to work. are watching I would love to review, review that got your license agreement click agree and I don't have the tablet or set up so I'm not gonna do that yet well actually I'll, I'll go ahead and Plug it in, so give me a minute. And then we'll get to see if the actual hardware works. And to plug it in, you gotta find this little piece on the side. Take a picture of it and put it 
in there. There it goes, it's plugged up. Move my keyboard out the way. And Windows is going to probably mess this all up. <laughs> By setting up its own driver, despite me going through this process. Alright, so created some space for myself. Let me find the stylus pen. There we go. Right handed. Oh, sorry, my arm hit my microphone. number. There's our work area. I think I got the tablet backwards. tablet, we got our digital pen, pressure test, wow this is, this is sensitive, <laughs> pressure sensitivity adjustment, Spice keys. Okay.
let's go into Photoshop. Let's see what we're working with here. And I did have an image that I wanted to mess with, but I didn't scan it yet, so. jagged lines, you know, some, you get some tablets and they do, you know, they, the lines, you, you know, you're trying to draw a line and it still comes out pretty jagged. I don't feel any of that with this. It's very, it's a very smooth surface.
we have H950P, I have this version. They have 8192 levels of print pro pro professional pressure sensitivity. It is very sensitive. Again, we have the H950P. Press keys on the side. Pin doesn't need any charging, as it says. And you can't cut the shortcut keys off. I just never usually set shortcut keys, so that's why early it was a little awkward for me trying to do it. I, I don't never usually worry about that when I get tablets. But I see this was the first time I actually used them, and it came in handy. I remember when I was trying to use another one of my graphic displays, and it was a little frustrating because it didn't have any shortcut keys on it. But I lived with it, and I thought how good it would be if I could just use shortcut keys to do things like save and stuff without having to hit my keyboard so that comes in handy. Um, but yeah there we go. So we'll do a little bit more drawing in here. And I'll draw something from scratch. Just hitting the, the front of the pen brings up, as usual, the paintbrush options. I want you to just click off and it'll go away. And, uh, oh, I have it on the eraser. So, there comes the eraser. I'm not really in a drawing mood today, so forgive me. This comes out as wacky. is responding very well. I don't feel any lag or anything like that. about this if you compare it to the Wacom you you got the eraser brush you just click on the front of the pen and there it is
and as you saw when I first started it up, you can set how sensitive your brush is going to be. Um, and all of that. You can pretty much turn the pen to maybe about a 45 degree angle and still draw. tilt the tablet and still draw. And that's about it. You saw um, it was a very easy setup. Um, just make sure that you have your any prior graphics tablets uninstalled. Um, everything seems to work fine, very smooth. The shortcut keys work well. The drawing feels good. Um, I'll use it a little bit more. I might do a, uh, another video or so. Um, but as far as I as far as I see, this is a good product to you know invest some money in. And, uh, let's go look at the cost on Heon. Uh, I noticed something. <laughs> For just 50 bucks. Well, that's the 640p. But you still get 8,192 8, pressure point pressure sensitivity just for this one. Um, I'll look up how the nine, how much the 950p costs when I do my write-up. But as far as the video goes, that's good enough. Thanks for watching. Hello people. Uh, I wanted to show real quick the actual Tilt um, recognition software that they've set up for this. And all we're going to do is go up to change the pen tilt Sometimes if it's kind of it's kind of off and on. But 
is kind of going to, it kind of, you got to kind of take it off the tablet to get it to go back like to the regular shape. But it'll tilt once you tilt it. Or you could do it with pressure. You can do it with pressure, like. But it tilts when you tilt the, the pen. So I wanted to give that example because in my original video I was saying that the pen, when you tilt it the tablet and you tilt it the pen, that that's what it was. And I'm probably gonna edit that out. This is what the tilt recognition is. I was talking about tilt angle. So it, it recognizes tilt angle and the change of the shape of the pen as you tilt the pen. And it's a new addition um, to the Huon 950P. And I, I think you guys will like it. And uh, that's it.